Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for stopping by. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Compton. Now Compton can be used in certain systems to fix screen tearing issues. It's actually a window compositor, but that's not why I'm using it in this video. In this video, I'm going to be using it to add a little bit more jazz to my system, you know, some effects and animations. So if you're running a minimal desktop environment like LXDE or XFCE, in this case it's XFCE, then your desktop is probably pretty bland. As you can see here, if I open an application, it just kind of appears, and then when I close it, it just disappears. No fading, no transitions, animations, nothing. So using and installing Compton will really add some more flavor to your desktop and make it more fun to use. So let's get started. Okay, now installing Compton highly depends on the distribution that you're using, but it is available for almost anyone that's out there. So in this video, I'm going to be installing it on Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop environment. And it's called XUbuntu or Xubuntu. So let's open up a web browser. And here you can type in Compton window compositor. Now this is the GitHub page. See, as you can see, it's also available for Arch Linux. So open this up. And here we have some of the information about it, dependencies, stuff like that. But an easy way to install it is to use apt. And this is only if you're running an Ubuntu system or Ubuntu based. And so if you have a different one, you can check out how to install it on yours. So open up a terminal and run sudo apt add repository space ppa colon rich richard gv slash compton enter your root password and it should add the ppa now next you want to run sudo op get update to refresh the sources and the final step is to install Compton. So we're on sudo apt get install Compton. And of course, if you have any problems, go to the GitHub page and make sure you have these dependencies installed. So that's done. So now that we have Compton installed, we need to do a few things before we can actually enable it. So go over to your application launcher and um, open up settings. Now here you want to click on Window Manager Tweaks if you're running XFCE. On LXDE it will be similar or whatever your desktop environment is. So click on that. Click on Compositor. It will be the last option. And disable Enable Display Compositing. So you want to uncheck that and this will disable the standard or default window compositor. So you can close out of that, and now we can set it up. So now that we have the existing window compositor disabled, we can start Compton up. So click on the application launcher and look up Compton, or use a universal Alt F2 and look up Compton. So when you run it, you will immediately see your screen flicker or flash, and that's good because that means Compton successfully started. So now if you open up an application, you will see that there is a slight fade in between. And that's it. That's Compton. Now, one thing we have to do before we actually do this is to set it so that Compton runs on boot. So that's very simple on XFCE. You just have to open the settings manager. Click on, oh no, sorry, search session in startup, there should be an entry there. Click on that. Go to application auto start. 
Now here, you just want to add an entry here, and that's going to be Compton. So the name, you can name it whatever you want. Just name it Compton, that's easiest. Here you can write compositor, whatever you want here. Compositor, window, compositor, something. And then for the command, simple, you just enter Compton, all lowercase. Hit OK, and Compton should run on boot. So that means that every time you turn your system on, Compton will start automatically, so you don't have to worry about it not being applied. Good. So Compton has started, but many of you might not be happy with the default settings or the transition time between loading up an application. So to tweak that, let's open up the file manager, go to your home folder, and click on view and enable hidden files or control H. Now here you will see a folder titled dot config. Click on that and there will be a file listed here called titled compton.config or conf. Now open that and this is the configuration file for Compton. It has all the settings, exactly how much time, all that kind of stuff. So now this is a default one but there is a really handy configuration file provided by a website called duncanlock.net and I will be using that for my Compton setup. So let's open up a web browser and let's download that configuration file. So let's just look up Compton on the compositor and click on the duncanlock.net link so here's some more steps if you want. Now, go under the Configure Compton area here and select this whole area here. This is a configuration file, so copy this and you can close out of that. Once you have it copied, select all of the configuration file text, delete that, and paste in the Duncan Lock provided one. And then you can save that, close out of that, and as you can see, the effects are not taking place automatically, but we can easily uh, make it do that by opening up the task manager or system monitor, and you can look up Compton. And I here just kill the Compton process, and everything will go back to default with no compositor. And now again, you can start it, and there it is. So the lag between the windows opening is much smaller and you might be pleased with the time. Now if you want to tweak it even further of course you could go back to the config file open up Compton and tweak some of the settings. So I'll show you some of the basic settings and what they do. So starting off with backend this is what renders your windows. So the best one to use is GLX but you can also use XRender, but GLX is known to work on most systems. Then next is Shadows, or sorry, GLX Backend. Now th these are some GLX settings. You don't have to change any of these that much. You can leave these as default if you use GLX as your backend. So now the next one is Shadows. Now here are the shadows of the window. So around the window, stuff like that. So if you want to use a different color so shadow here, you can uncomment this line out by just deleting that hash mark and setting suppose shadow red to a certain number. So let's just do five. And now if you and of course you have to kill Compton again. So just open up task manager. Kill Compton. It's right here. And restart it. there will be a red shadow. See, right here, you can see that it is red. So you can just mess around with those settings to get the desired look and feel if for your shadow. So I just like to leave that at zero because I just want black shadows, dot color. And now here are some excluded shadows. Now, duncanclock.net has provided an excellent list of which applications do not work well with this shadow setting 
and they're all listed here. And now if you have some problem problems with these shadows, then you of course you can just add that application here by stating name or if it's a class, right class underscore G and just add that there, restart it. Now the next one is opacity. And now this will change the background blur and menu opacity of certain items. Next is fading. Now this is a time between fading. So you can set fade delta, which is the time between steps in fade of fade in milliseconds. So the default is 10, but DuncanClock.net has set this to 4. Let's change it to 20 and see how that looks. Open up Task Manager, kill Compton, and restart it. I don't think that killed properly. Oh, yep, there we go. And Compton. And there we go. So you can see that the fade is very slow when I launch an application. Very slow. That's a little too slow, but if you want a faster one, you can of course change that to your liking. I like to have it at 5, where you can still see the animations, but it's not too slow. Okay. And these are just some other settings. You can leave these as is if you're running a default system with GLX. And those are all the settings. So just play around with these settings and see which one you like the best and which one matches your needs. Okay everyone, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, especially you LXD and XFCE users, or really any distribution or desktop environment that does not have a nice window compositor. And installing this really makes me question why this isn't included in almost every light desktop environment. So it may be because it does take up some memory. It takes it's taking up currently about 80 megabytes. You can see in the task manager, but it's really a great addition to your desktop and can even solve some other issues such as screen tearing. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Linux videos and how-tos, tutorials, reviews. Thanks for watching.